All right, so about 22 years ago, I walked into an art house movie theater in Washington, D.C., and I watched a movie named Heavy that was directed by the guy who made this movie with you guys. So I'm a geek. Put me on the set. What was, what was it like sort of having him behind the camera and direct you in this wonderful movie that you guys made together? Oh man, <laughs> I mean it's all him. He's he's kind of he's 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 everywhere. He's he's uh, there. There's nothing that that's that's happening on on that set that he's not sort of aware of, of and, and and orchestrating. And uh, look, I mean, what a what a you know you are in great great hands, mm. and um, you know that it's it's not it's not usually like that. You know, yeah. and and no, it's not. <laughs> okay. and, at least for me, and uh, it's you, you know he's the kind of director that he says jumping in the air. You you ask how high, you just you, you trust him, and uh, yeah, he's he, he's he's running the show. How about for you? He's fantastic. He's a great artist. He's. He's loud, he yells, he curses, <laughs> he's profane, he's uh, great fun. Uh, but you can tell the difference when somebody's doing that stuff because they're insecure mm -hmm. and when somebody's doing that stuff just because they're excited and that's their personality. Yeah. And uh, it never bothered me with Jim. Jim could yell at me, could call me names, he cursed me out. I, 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 it just <laughs> never fazed me. I was okay. just like, he knows what he's doing, I'm going to give him what he wants. Okay. So how much of, given that you guys are, are portraying people who are real life, uh, who existed in real life, how much do you stick to what the version of the script is or how much uh, were you allowed to sort of do your own sort of investigation uh, into what they were actually like? The script was great. Mm -hmm. It was all there on the page. It didn't require a lot of extra lot of, stuff. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you do a lot of that extra research, you feel like you're beholden to the research and not the story not, that you're no. telling. So it didn't require a lot of that kind of stuff. I mean. These guys are public figures, but they're not su such identifiable they're not figures. The audiences, you know, yeah. it's not like playing Elvis or somebody like mm. that. It's you, you just get an essence of the character, and and you let the script do the work for you. So I don't want to talk in cliches, but this is sort of a change of pace with you. And you mentioned that you find him even the strength of uh, of him is different of what you portrayed before, but you still find him like a strong guy who got it done. So if you could talk to that about your character, uh, absolutely. And and I, I think uh, I would even say you know there's the, he's he's heroic, you know, and and uh, I just I just think that you know his strengths lie in in, in his integrity and his his honesty and his loyalty. Uh, and uh, you, you know, but yeah, just as strong as any character I've ever played, and yeah, definitely, I guess, a, in, in a sense, a change of pace for me, but one that that's that's very welcomed. Everybody keeps saying this is a change of pace for you. Well, he's not, he's not bashing anybody's head in. Usually, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're so great in this movie. Yeah, I just assume you do this all the time. Well, he uh, is he is great, but it's just the fact that it's uh, it's sort of outward uh, physicality of of strength. He always plays great characters, and he always works with good directors, which is kind of nudge you a little bit because well, he has see you bashing stuff. people's heads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's quite a bit. I, I'm sure it's not on your watch we, list but we need, to, we need to do like a list of things yeah. you should watch of the person you have sitting next to you the rest I'm of the always day. offering my sort of highlight your reels IMD, to Tracy let's pull yeah, out your IMDb. a constant sort of back yeah, and forth I would imagine kind of, yeah, so. yeah, yeah there's a fantastic scene uh, with you uh, with uh, Shelby with your character Shelby where he sort of hijacks the car and he takes you for a ride yeah how, I mean, I don't want to get into the nuts and bolts because it's probably boring to talk about, but sort of getting to where you needed to get to that reaction. I sort of identified that sort of emotional, it was an emotional moment for your character, if you could speak to that. Well, again, it's in the script. We knew that it was a, an important scene in the film. We didn't, Jim and I didn't talk a lot about it before we shot it, but mm. he did a great job of providing the circumstances that uh, allowed me and Matt to uh, pretend that we were in those circumstances mm. with some authority. So you're, and, you're so you're killing my dream. You weren't able to drive around really, really fast and get terrified. We though. got up to about a hundred miles an hour well, on the shit, tarmac. We <laughs> we weren't driving. We okay. were being pulled by a camera car, a thing they call a biscuit, which uh -huh. can actually get up to some very high speeds out on the tarmac. So, it, I mean, there was some definite adrenaline there. All right. So before they push the ejectment, French exit. My favorite actress. What uh, what what can you tell me? Are you going to be shooting that soon or? Uh, I go to Montreal in just a few days to shoot. Give Michelle shoot. a kiss for me. Please. I will. The Definitely. weird Puerto Rican guy sent her a kiss. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pleasure talking to you guys. Excellent. All right. Thanks, brother. Thanks.